You want to kick down? your minds for action and exercise self-control with all your hope and gracious salvation that will come to you in Christ and build the world. So you must build a God for you. Don't step back and you always satisfy your own God. You don't know any better. But now you must be holy in everything you do. This is God who chose you to be holy. But the scripture says you must be holy because I am holy. And remember that the heavenly Father, the whom you pray, has not or uh, has no faithfulness. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. Thank you. 
sacrifice that pleases God. It is good to say, I am placing the cornerstone in Jerusalem, told him for great honor, and anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Yes, you, yes, you will trust him, recognize the honor God has given him. But for those who reject him, Those of you 
that are sad because of the hurt, I want you to be sad. I don't want you to hold back not one tear. I don't want you to try to muster a, a smile if it is not in you. I don't even want you to say amen if it's not in you. I don't want you to clap your hand if it's not in you. But for those of you that, that are not too sad, those of you that are not too hurt, I, I just need you to do something for me. Let's just give God a hand clap and pray. <laughs>
I'm going to read the scripture, but just really quick, I just want to thank God for my cousin Regina. Thank God. I thank God for it because probably about June of last year, uh, I was commissioned, my pastor commissioned me to uh, begin an extended family ministry with my family and friends. And one of the first people that I had an opportunity to invite was cousin Regina. And uh, cousin Regina, I did not know her, her health condition. She did not miss a beat. She was there faithfully every week, and she was inviting others. And uh, she was pushing me too, pushing me. Did you send out those notes? Did you send out? <laughs> yes, and we're going to do it now. Uh, but I, I thank God for that because that's what we need. Uh, that support of you and uh, the family was, it was so needed. And uh, uh, Brother Harold was telling me on yesterday that even up until the last, you know, he would even have her to, you know, she would, he would wake her up so she could attend on those Tuesday <laughs> nights. And I really do want you to know we appreciate that. And on behalf of Pastor Kelly, thank you for the donations that you gave to our school. We really, really do appreciate that. So we're going to read the scripture on tonight. And for those uh, who can stand and honor God's word, I'm going to ask that you stand. Because Regina pressed her way. She pressed her way. And uh, I want to honor God, but I also want to honor her. Because she pressed her way all the way to the end. Job chapter 19, verse 25 through 27. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall be hope, and not another, though my reins be consumed with the New Testament scripture, Romans chapter 8. Beginning, beginning at verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate uh, to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God to lay? It is God to justify. Who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also make an intercession for us all. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than comfortable yes. through him that loved us. Yes. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Yes. May the Lord have a blessing to the reader, spirit, and doers of his word. Good morning. Good morning. We are here to celebrate the life of our dear sister, Amen. Regina Kirkendall Kelly. Yes. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning acknowledging for who you are. Yes. You are an everlasting God. You are the eternal God. You are God who, who, who is with us in all moments of our life. You are a friend. You are a comforter. You are a mother, you are a father. Father God, we acknowledge you for all that you are in our life. Father God, we come to you this morning with a range of emotions. Some of us are experiencing deep sadness and grief. Yeah. Some of us are experiencing uh, the memories of, 
the lost memories that, 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 that we will not have with our sister anymore. Yes. But God, we know that regardless of, of, of the emotions that we are feeling, regardless of the things that we are going through, Father God, you are still God. Father. And God, we thank you for, for still being God. And God, we know that because you are God, you will meet us where we are right now. So Father God, where there is sadness, God, I pray that you would bring in a spirit of joy, Father God. Where there is heaviness, Father God, I pray that you would lift it, Father God. Father God, we thank you for the life of our sister, Father God. For, for, for good years, Father God. For years that she was able to encourage people, but here's that she was able to bless people, yeah. but here's that she was able to be there to, for, 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 for us in ways that we couldn't be for ourselves, Father yes. God. Yes. Father, I pray right now for the Kirby Dow family, I pray right now for the Cash family, Father God, God, I pray that you would meet them in their point of need, Father God. I pray that you would wrap your arms around them right now, Father God. I pray you would wipe away the tears right now, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you well, Father God, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have the answers, Father God. We, we don't know what happened in this moment, Father God, but we know we can trust you, Father God. We know you make no mistakes, Father God. We know, Father God, that you have ordained in this moment, Father God. So we will celebrate, God, for what you have done, Father God, for we know our sister yes. is with you. Yes. So we thank you. God, we love you. God, be with the family. Yes. Protect them, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory for all that He has done. Now, while I'm in place, where do I go? Uh, you can stay here. I'm coming up here if you like. You're not coming up here. Again, I say to God be the glory for all that he has done. And I just want to say to the family that may God be with you at this time. And I don't know why they picked me, but I just say again, may God use me as his vessel. And may these songs be a comfort to you. Sometimes I feel I'm all alone. I'm just like a stranger so far from home. Lord, if you hear me, I'm calling you. Do you see? Do you care all about what I'm going through? And sometimes I feel like giving up. It seems like my best just ain't good enough. And Lord, if you hear me, I'm calling you. Do you see? Do you care all about what I'm going through? All right. And then he said, one more day. One more step, see I'm preparing you all for myself. And when you can hear my voice, please trust my prayer. I'm the Lord I see, and yes, I understand.
Church, say amen. 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 Um, we give honor to the shepherd of this house. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. To the family. Yeah. To our full good guests. I bring you greetings from New Direction Christian Church. I'm passing out the state dispenser. We cannot be here today. Uh, although we do have several members that are here. Uh, it's good to be with you all in this moment to provide you with, with, with a measure of comfort uh, during this time. Uh, I'm reminded of, uh, as I think about Regina and her life, my interactions with her, I'm reminded of a, of a phrase that, that, that I used to hear when I was growing up uh, in church. Uh, every now and then, uh, uh, I would hear people uh, point to a particular person in the church and say, oh, they say that they so heavenly minded, they know earthly good. You know, I have heard that before. Yes. Uh, yeah. And often they would be talking about someone who was just on fire for the Lord, right? Uh -huh. Someone who was their whole life, like they, they, would, they would be teaching everybody they could. They would be feeding people everywhere they, that they could. Uh, they, would just, they would just do everything they could for the Lord, right? And as I got older, I began to realize that we really kind of messed that phrase up, right? right. right. That, 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 that really, if the truth be told, it's the people who have a proper understanding of heaven yeah. that have the most impact on earth, right? Yeah. Oh. So when we truly understand what they truly understand what happens in heaven. We truly understand what heaven is. It is a place of paradise. It is a place of rest. It is a place of being with our Father. When we, when we have that perspective, it, it alters the way that we that, that we deal with people. It alters the way that we go about handling life. It alters the way that we spend our time on, on this earth. Amen. And I believe that Regina had a proper understanding of heaven. And I believe that today. She is in the master's arms. Yes. She is in paradise. Yes. She is experiencing rest. Yes. No more pain. Yes. And so, family, I want to encourage you. Yes, yes these days are heaven. Yes, we will shed some tears. Yes, there will be some sleepless nights. And as Pastor Tom said, that is okay. All right. But let us not forget that she is in a much better place. Amen. God bless you.
for lunch because we didn't want to eat what was in the cafeteria. Our lunch consists of a, a cold cut sandwich, a bag of chips, and of course, you know, Regina had to have a Coca-Cola. <laughs> On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we would opt sometime to ride the four walker bus downtown where we would go to Goldsmith, and at that time, Goldsmith had a restaurant on the upper level, and she and I would sit down to what we would call us a good lunch. And then we would say, charge on our Goldsmith charge card. <laughs> on other occasions, we opt not to eat lunch because we wanted to go shopping, because at that time, the Mid-America Mall had lots of stores. And you know, Regina didn't like that twin stuff. One day, we was at Learners, and both of us had our eyes on the same outfit, and uh, Regina was looking at me, and I was looking at the outfit to look at her. But you know who came out of the store with that outfit, right? It was, of course, Regina. Yeah. Uh, then later on campus, I think it was the spring of 84, as a matter of fact, it was the spring of 84, the Delta was having a rush party. And Regina said, girl, we got to go to that party. I said, OK, Regina, whatever you say, we'll go. OK, we go to the rush party, and we go through all those formats. We fled Delta that spring. And she and I encountered a lot of experiences online because Regina was a very strong-willed person. But as we grew into mature women, we, did, we devised a plan to get rid of that credit card debt we had obtained in college. And then we started growing spiritually in Christ. We would start uh, studying our Bible more, figuring out ways that we needed to be, have more input into society in a positive way. And one of the things that really admired me about Regina, she would always call me Holy Road because my mom, we went to church all the time. And Regina would say, you know, Jack, there's just something different about you. But later on, that same differences that she was talking about me became Regina. Once, when Regina, after Regina had uh, sold her townhouse, and she was getting ready to find another place that she wanted to build, and she called me, she said, Jack, I found the perfect lot. And Regina said, I would drive around that lot seven times praying. And those of us who are Bible scholars, we know what that represents. And she called me one day, she said, girl, that lot is mine. I'm going to build that house on it. And we know the story there, she did. And Regina was this kind of person. I thought one time we was going over there simply to have a pampering party for girls. And it was close to my 30th birthday. And when I got there, the, she was having a little pampering party for me. I think at that time, my oldest son was about four years old. But that's the kind of person that Regina was. She was one that if you had her on your team, you knew you had a winning team. Amen. There was no limit that she would not go in order to help you or to make that, that whatever that endeavor was a success. But what was most notable to me about my friend Regina was her perspective on life, her intellect, her gift of decorating, and her genuine love for her family, her friends, her sorority, and for her God that she knew who could do abundantly Amen. above all that we could think or even ask for. She loved him, and it showed in her attitude, it showed in her gratitude. Regina was the fabric that really held her family together. She was the glue that kept friendships together when it was on the rocky edge. She was the one that whatever endeavor, whether it was her sorority or her job, she was the one that was going to make sure that that project was going to end and it was going to be on time and within the budget. Because she figured that the government money at the end it was also her money because she was a taxpayer. <laughs> whatever it was that Regina set out to do, she did it with all her heart. But I'm reminded right now, as I come to a close, I, all of us were greatly, greatly miss Regina. We were greatly miss Regina. Yeah. And there is no substitute for her because she carried and she walked in big shoes. Yeah. But I believe if Regina could whisper a word to us right now, and I know what she'll say, girl, <laughs> Harry, Mom, David, Yolanda, or any one of you, don't be shedding too many tears for me right now. Because I'm all right. I'm all right. She would say, I changed residency. I moved to a beautiful place. It's a city that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have the mind the ability to obtain what it's like up here. She says, over here, she says, I put off the 
pain and the suffering. She says, over here I put out corruptible and I put on incorruptible. I have finished my course and now I am present with the Lord. Over here we are preparing for a great celebration. A great celebration. And if you want to be a part of that finale, then you need to get yourself together today. If you don't know the Lord, today is a good day to get to know him. Accept him as your personal Savior. Repent of your sins and be baptized. If you have backslidden from the Father, it's time to come back home. He's standing at the door knocking and waiting. And as I told, I believe Regina would say, be blessed. Signing out, Regina Kirkendall Cash.
So going back to my theme scripture, the woman who fears the Lord will have excuse me, eternal beauty, external beauty in its in its proper place. She will love her neighbor, be a blessing to others, and show hospitality. If you see, if you know a woman like this, especially if she, is, if she is your wife, your daughter, your sister, your auntie, your friend, your soul, your associate pastor, praise her and praise the God that made her. Amen. As for this family, we will always love and cherish the memory of our Regina Lynette Curtis Dog Page, most affectionately known as Bud. Jerry Bud, if I'm not mistaken. I'm humbled to be able to share in her legacy today. Auntie and Uncle Harry, I personally thank you both for the love and generosity that you have selflessly, selflessly extended myself and my children. And I'm sure there are many here who will share the exact same sentiment. I love you both. Auntie, the family tradition will continue. It is real family. Yeah. 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 I love you, and until we meet again, it's never goodbye. Yeah. 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 I do 
really want to call some names because Harry had the support of the world. Him and I talked, and I said, Harry, I don't know if I could have gotten this. And he said, yeah, you could have. You could have, and you would have. But Yolanda, hold your head up. Yes. Yolanda, Lucretia, you guys made this happen for us. And she wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Yes, she has an abundance of loved ones out here that she loves. But you guys made this possible, and it's so beautiful. Amen. The other thing I want to say here real quickly was that as we move on, this girl was a constant professional. Amen. Being a constant professional, Amen. she had the sympathy in her heart not to be overbearing. But she definitely wanted the best for everybody because she thought as a race, as a people, we could all thrive to be better. And she believed that. If you guys would look right into your programs right now, and I said earlier, being the product of a sharecropper, look where Harry and Harry was able to go. Cruising, Italy, you know, all over. So I'm going to say she was worldly. She's probably done more than all of us will ever do with a smile on her face. And having that smile on her face is what has brought me comfort. Amen. Now, her and I go back and forth, and we will continue because I will talk to my love every day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because as long as she lives in our heart, she lives. She absolutely lives. So I want to thank all of you for the support and the strength that you guys are giving us. But more so tonight. Pray for my mother. That's the cornerstone. And I know what she would say. With her leaving here physically, we cannot fall apart. Two of them are gone and there's still eight of us left. That's huge. That is huge. And all my brothers and sisters, I know you guys all have your special relationship with her. She mentors Monica. She mentors a lot of people. Her and Cody goes back and forth about push Peter. That was the last conversation I had with her. She wants us to push Peter. She said the talent there should not go unrecognized. Yes, so we want to honor her wishes with not only pushing her, him, but so many more that are offspring to her family that she would have wanted to achieve and to thrive to the next level. Now, Jenny and Kathy, you guys getting up here being pearls of the world girls, AKAs, okay, my heart is big and you know why. So thank you guys, appreciate you guys being here. I love each and every one of you that's represented here, even if your families are not able to attend, but thank you very much. And Harry, you're our brother. Let's not let that change, please. Be there with us, we'll be there for you. And I'm not going to sit here and say when the cameras are off and all the publicity is gone, and I know you're over there thinking, I'm going to bother you. And when you tell me you've had enough, say, okay, dude, I'm fine. Don't call me every day. I'm going to bother you because I want to know that you're okay. And I wish everybody else would because you need to be okay. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you guys.
about God, how grateful we are for you and to have you in our family. And we know that she is very grateful for you as well. So God bless you. God bless everyone. And thank you all so much. Amen.
this and everyone. Time and time. Right. I'm not going to admit it either. All right. All right. I will keep that tradition going. Yes, sir. I do want to thank uh, New Direction uh, for sending a representative here and, yes. and some of their members here. And, and I'd like to thank all of Virginia's co workers that are present on today. Uh, bless you. Hell no, she didn't like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to cross your fingers if you're not. 
the answer to that. I said, no. You don't have to like doing some things to do them. Sometimes you do things because you love doing them. I said, so my mother did those things because she loved her husband. And I said, anyway, and I messed up when I said that. I said, anyway, my understanding of the scripture is the wife ought to just sit down somewhere and shut up and do what her husband tell her. I don't know what I was. One of my eyebrows went up and the other one went down. Um, I knew I was in trouble. But she was good. She didn't say nothing to her. I got finished preaching. <laughs> Walls trying to tell me to come, Walls. <laughs> trying to tell me to be quiet now. I will hear her say. She wouldn't let me out the door. She said, now, nah, you know me. You got to talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> I said about what? She wouldn't tell me no that was in church. But I was invited to go over the couple dogs to eat. And I figured out why so she could hem me up so I couldn't get away. I said, Lord, she got me. I'm sitting at the table, but I'm not scared. Don't make no, I wasn't scared. Because I had Deacon Neighbors there. And I know Deacon Neighbors believe the same thing I believe. <laughs> I had, what, what Charles did? I had Charles there. So I was scared. And, 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 and we talked and we talked and we disagreed and we disagreed. I kept trying to tell her I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, but she wouldn't let it go. But we all, but one thing she did. Oh, oh, we agreed to disagree. Yeah. And that's the kind of person she was, I thought. All right. That she can carry. Uh, a conflict through to the end, and if there is no winner or whatever it is, but okay, we agree to disagree. Right. So I said that just to say that she is a special person. Mm -hmm. uh, Regina did not die pregnant. Let me say that again. She All didn't right. die All pregnant. Right. She, she gave birth to everything she had in her. The love that she had in her, uh, she didn't die with it in her. She gave it all out. She gave birth to all the love and friendship that she had in her. She gave birth to, there was nothing left in her when she died. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, she didn't die pregnant. There's another thing. She didn't die uh, hating someone. Uh -huh. No, no. She didn't die holding a grudge. All right. All right. She didn't die gossiping on somebody. I mean, she didn't die really disagreeing with somebody. That, and then the third thing is that she didn't die ignorant. Right. She didn't die from lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Uh, the knowledge, she, she poured out her knowledge into other people. I read here she was with the federal government for 35 years or something. Chief project manager, right? Chief yeah. project. 35 years wow. uh, until she retired this year, I believe, January. Right. And, 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 and so she 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 didn't die from like now. She knew God. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge that she inquired about God, she put it in other people. So when you talk to her, you ain't gonna leave without knowing something about God. Uh -huh. She built up the kind of faith from God's word. She built on God's word. That's why somebody said that she beat Council One, and they had no doubt that they were gonna do it again. Yeah. Yeah. And she did it again. She beat it. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, she beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make no mistake about it. Yeah, she beat. It. So she didn't die pregnant. And she didn't die hating on nobody. All right. and, 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 and she didn't die from lack of knowledge. Now keep all that in mind. Now let me read John. All right, all right. Amen. All right. That's John the 14th chapter. 
fifth, I got to hear it on this 14th chapter. It's been said that it's one of the most loved chapters in all the Bible. All right. Well, Jesus is speaking now. He, he, he still at the Passover. Actually, he moved from eating the Passover into what we call the Lord's Supper. And he's, he's teaching his disciples, he's telling them uh, about love. He even uh, mentioned there uh, in that 13th chapter, in that 34th verse, he said, I, I'm, 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 I'm getting ready to give you another commandment. All right. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Right. And that kind of love, Jesus said, this kind of love uh, will take you, uh, carry you when you approach or when you near the valley of the shadow of death. All right, all right. God's word will take you to it. You won't be afraid of death. Yeah. That's what I, that's all I'm trying to say. Right, yeah. That's the kind of thing. You get that kind of love uh, for Christ and you understand what Christ has done for you. That will take you up to the valley. It will get you through the valley to the other side of eternity. Amen. 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 So this kind of love, he's saying that, that I want you to love you one another as I have loved you. And I often wonder why did he say that? Now at the time, Judas wasn't there. See, Satan had got into Judas and Jesus told him, you go on out the house now. You go on do what you got to do. And when he left, now he's talking to the disciples. Love one another. But oddly enough, love more than not is based on yeah. your experience of love. Yeah. All right. All right. Love sometimes is based on your experience of love. In other words, sometimes if we don't watch it, we will love people based on how we were loved. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're going to follow me in a minute here. Uh, see, some households don't have a lasting love or don't show a lasting love or even don't even know what real love is. All right. Um, my household was full of love, but it wasn't demonstrated. At least not the way I thought it was supposed to be. I, I had a misunderstanding of what love was, a uh, hugging and, 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 and uh, holding hands and, and buying stuff for folks and, and just taking care of folks. And, 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 and I found out that as soon as you stop taking care of folks, all right, all right. the love seemed to go out the window. So you start hugging on folks and telling folks on by the time they are love you. They want to walk away from you. But the love that Jesus was talking about, he said, I don't know what you have experienced. What kind of love you experienced in your life, but here's what I want you to do. Love ye one another, not as your daddy loves you. Not as your mama loves you, not as your father, not as your brother, your sister, but love ye one another as I have loved you. Right. Right. Uh, that's the kind of love there that the Regina want all of us to do. Yeah. Don't love one another as she has loved you, but love ye one another as Christ has loved her. Love ye one another as Christ has loved you. So now he's in this 14th chapter. And it says, First verse, don't let your heart, you already know if you hadn't read nothing else in there. That's why I said it's the most loved chapter to read in the Bible. Everybody know it. All I had to say was, let not. You would have told me your heart be troubled. I believe you know the rest of it too, don't you? Trust. Now I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Reads a little different from the King James, but it said, trust in God and trust also in me. Yeah. There is more than enough room, King James said, in my father's house. I like that. Yeah. In yeah. my father's house, there are many yeah. mansions there. Yeah. Now, I got to put a pen there, and I want y'all to know that Regina is fit for a mansion. Right. That ain't my subject, but I just wanted to say that. See, everybody ain't fit for a mansion. Right. Some folks can't take care of a dog house. That's all a mansion. Oh, I don't hate it. Damn. More than enough. In other words, there's enough dwelling places. Even in the King James Bird, when it said mansion, he just simply saying, there's plenty of dwelling places uh, in my house. Uh, dwelling places you don't have to worry about. You don't have to skip line. 
Not that you're going to do it anyway. Right. Ain't nobody going to skip a death line. We all in line. Yeah. We're going to get here. That one line, you don't see nobody skipping. Yeah. Nobody. Folks are glad to let you in front of them, if you ask them. Now, in fact, they'll push you on. <laughs> there is more than enough room in my father's house. If this were not so, he said, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? He said in verse 3, when everything uh -huh, is ready, I will come and get you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So that you will always be with me where I am. All right. Now that's about five promises here. But I just want to just hit on a couple. Maybe I'll do three. Y'all feel like time allowed. All right. Um, there's plenty of room in my house. Yeah. So my subject then today is everything is ready. All right. All right. Yeah, everything right. is ready. Because he said here, verse 3, when everything is ready, right. I will come and get you. Yes, sir. Yeah. The reason I know everything is ready, because he came to get us. All right. All right. Everything All right. is ready. All right. And not only was everything ready for her, her house was ready, she was ready. A lot of us, uh, none of us really are never ready to go and live this eternal life. Uh -huh. But Regina knew one thing, that, that she had to be, or had to get prepared. Uh -huh. And I believe she spent a long time preparing for this day. Uh -huh. She built her faith again on the word of God. Uh -huh. So I want to uh, encourage all of us that that that, that death tells us a lot. Death speaks to us every day. Death reveals a lot to us. And I don't, I'm not going through all of them, but I will pick up on this one thing that death does. All right. Death lets all of us know that we don't have time to waste. Matter of fact, every time death comes, it ought to remind you that we don't have time to waste. Because I got news for you. Unless Jesus come back, yes. we're all going to die. Right. Do you know that over 155,000 people worldwide die per day? Every 56 seconds. Look at that. Somebody dies. Right. You've been here more than 56 seconds, so you probably say <laughs> If you want to. But somebody died. By the time I got up, about 15 people died. Alone. I mean more. So he says, I go to a place to prepare a place for you. In my father's house, I don't want to skip that. There are many mansions there. He said, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going. Then he said, I'm going to prepare. That, that's a promise for all of us. Regina just in her, her mansion right now. Mm -hmm. right. Matter of fact, that house she built, you know, her and her, that house can fit inside this mansion. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it don't compare to this mansion. But the other problem here, he said, when everything is ready, I'm going to come back yes, and get who? Get you. Yes, and not only, uh, he said, when I come and get you, it ain't just for a visit. <laughs> uh, he said, you're going to be with me forever, for eternity. Yes. And that sounds like a mighty good place to me. I asked my church son, I said, pray that I don't say, say something like, Regina is in a better place. Because when you say that, in my opinion, is you're trying to compare uh, one place to another. Uh -huh. And I told him that the reason I said I don't want to say she's in a better place called that's like saying being with Harry wasn't 
a good place. Uh, being with mama wasn't, y'all follow me now, don't you? Wasn't a good place. Being with her yin yang wasn't a good place. I, I, I would argue that her better place was right where she was. Uh, now she's in just another place that just happens to be made right. of gold. Right. Revelation 21 said that the street yeah. uh -huh, was made, not paved with gold, it was made of gold. And it said there was a river that ran through the middle of this holy city. John said, and, 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 and there was, he said, I looked up and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Because the old heaven and the old earth has passed away. Now heaven is just an atmosphere. He, my friend, he said, there's no, uh, no moon there. There's no sun. My friend, he said that the sea disappeared. Yeah. And this city was like, he said, it started coming down from heaven out from God. Right. And that the people will be his dwelling place. He's going to dwell with his people. Mm -hmm. That place is just beautiful. There is no comparison. Right. He said the gates, there were 12 of them, you know, three in the south, north, east, and west. And each gate was just a whole pearl and, and was guarded by 12 angels. And, and just, we just going to have a good time. We're going to eat. That's why I don't know where Dina Mother Kirkendall. Right. Uh, the whole Kirkendall family, the Cash family, we love you and and, and and so Brother Cash, I will never really eat up your house. I tell you what, the Kirkendall house. It was a, I was I thought I was on a cruise ship. <laughs> 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 I thought I was on a cruise <laughs> Lost my mind. I didn't know which meat to eat. That's so why it all. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Yeah. I went from barbecue to turkeys. <laughs> you were in that too, wasn't it? From road beat to whatever else it was. Yeah, it was like five, six different meats. How in the world are you supposed to survive that? <laughs> All kind of vegetables, all kind of cakes and pies, all kind of fruit, all kind of drink. And me and my wife, all we had to do was just sit down. And Regina, do you need anything, Pastor? Do you need anything, First Lady? Do you need anything, Taylor? That's a girl. So, yes, she's in a more caring place. Amen. I'm getting ready to close. Because in Revelation, it says that God, this is the fourth verse, it says that God is going to wipe every tear. And the reason he's going to wipe every tear, you do know God don't wipe tears with uh -huh, a handkerchief. God don't wipe tears with a towel. This is how God Wipe up to you, like, right. This is how God wiped you. Yeah. He said, there, I, 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 to keep you from crying, I'm going to remove them. He said, because there will be no more death. Uh -huh. So that tear, you know, you know, no more reason to cry about death. Yeah. He said, that there will be no more crying right. because there is no more death. Then he said, I'm going to remove the sorrow. He said, there will be no more sorrow. Yeah. He, look at God wiping tears. He said, he just wiping tears. There's no doubt. There's no sorrow. There's no crying. And the last thing he said, well, if all that is gone, there can't be any pain. So he said, there will be no And I'm going to be your God. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you everything now. Everything. It's ready. Yeah. It's ready, Virginia. And the death of pain is over for you. It's over. But I'm now trying to decide for all of us, what do I put here for this person? What do I put there for that person? What kind of reward should I give this person? 
You do know that your reward will be based on what you've done in your life. Is it good or bad? I can just imagine. I'm finished. That he got everything Regina desired. Wait no more. It's, it's already finished. It's there. I believe if she like red roses, God got some red roses on her. Oh, yeah. oh, I believe if, if she like a pasta bed, I believe God got a pasta pinic mattress still waiting on her. I believe if she like six inch deals, he probably even got some six inch deals. Oh, yeah. Lux love is bad. Yeah. All right. You still helping God get you stuff ready. Yeah. Tell God what you like. God, don't tell him nothing. Show God what you like. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because they're going to be nothing but eating, fellowshipping, grooming, and serving a lot. Amen. Amen. I'm finished. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. I'm going to ask the directors to come to come home. Amen. Amen. Amen.